Welcome to today's session. We're going to learn how to insert a date picker in MS Excel. My name is Alwyn Nyker. Make sure you watch to the end. I do value your support. Please subscribe. Thank you. Enjoy this. Perfect. I hope you're ready for this. So, before we can insert the date and time picker control, we've got to make sure that we have the developer tab. At the moment, I don't have the developer tab. In order to enable this, I'm going to go to any of these tabs, right click, customize the ribbon. It opens up the Excel options dialog box. I'm going to go towards the bottom where I've got all the check boxes. And as you can see, developer. I'm going to tick it. Click OK. This opens the developer tab for me. So I'm going to click developer tab. And when I go to developer tab, I'm going to go to insert. Insert here in Oasis is going to give me various controls, your forms control, active X controls. I'm going to go to the bottom where it says more controls. I'm going to click more controls. And I'm going to scroll very slowly until I find Microsoft Date and Time Picker. I'm going to select it and click OK. Notice nothing appears on my screen. You've actually got to draw it out now. So I'm going to click and drag diagonally. Now I'm not actually putting it in the place that it's supposed to be. I'm going to put it a bit later. For now, I'm leaving it as is. I'm going to do another. So I'm going to go insert, more controls, and scroll down slowly. Microsoft Date and Time Picker Control, click OK, and I'm going to drag diagonally. Perfect. Awesome, but notice you can't actually click anything right now as far as dropping down and choosing a date because we're in design mode. We're in design mode. So if I take design mode out, then yes, it makes it a bit easier. It looks a bit different, but notice the date is sitting on the top. We're going to fix that just now. So I'm going to go back to design mode because I've got to say which cell each of these date pickers actually represent. So in order to do that, I'm clicking on the first date picker and I'm going to go to properties. In properties, it opens up the selection for us. I'm going to look for linked cell, linked cell. So I'm going to click in there and say the first one is linked to cell G2. So that means whichever date I select will actually appear in cell G2. I'm going to press enter. Notice a message pops up. It says can't set the value to null when checkbox property equals false. For now, we're not working with checkboxes. We're just going to click OK. I'm going to select the next and I'm going to link cell again and I'm going to go H2 and I'm going to press enter. Click OK. I'm closing this off. So basically, if I go into design mode, I should be able to select an actual date and then it should appear in those respective cells. But now, like I said, we've got the drop down here. So I'm just going to choose this drop down for now so you can see what happens. Let's choose the 10th of June and notice how it automatically is putting it in the correct cell. But my controls are not looking good. So I'm going to go back to design mode and I'm going to click and drag it where it's supposed to be drag where it's supposed to be. And now I can get out of design mode. If I click the drop down, can you see? In the place that it actually is meant to be. So I'm going to choose a date. Let's say I will choose the 15th. And my finish date will be, let's say, the 30th. Now let's put a little formula to test this out. So I'm going to click in the cell that I want my answer to be equals h2 minus g2 how many days between how awesome is that perfect thank you for joining me in on the session please don't forget to subscribe have a fantastic day